We need to establish a framework, though, for time in our minds to be able to have an in internal reference for time. The dance is a way to create the form for us, physically, to know where the strong and weak beats are. The dance gives us a physical reference for time. The strong beats are usually where you tap your fingers or your feet touch the ground when you dance. Now watch this. All right. If I'm tapping my fingers or dancing to the music, the gravity, the weight, as a fluid in my body is reaching its lowest point on the strong beats. That's a normal strong beat feeling. That's one of the things that we can remember in establishing this framework for time. So we can remember this dance as we're going along. You're not rushing or dragging the speed. We organize these strong and weak beats into units called measures or bars. If there are two beats per measure, we have a few options depending on the dance we want to create. We can consider both beats as strong and play the low tones on each beat and the high tones on the upbeats. Now here's the dance, remember. This is the low part. I'm gonna... Okay, there's the strong beats. There's the high tone on the upbeats. Now I call this straight time. That's what, if we're trying to tell somebody what kind of rhythm to play, this is straight time. Okay, now remember that's low tone on all the beats. Secondly, we can consider the second beat as a weak beat or back beat and play it as a high tone. That would be what we call half time. Low, high, low, high, low, high. High, low, high, low, high. The third option, we can play a combination of straight time and half time. Now that's where the brush with the left hand comes in. And I'll show you, and this is really the primarily, primary thing that happened with Don. So we have the low, high, low, high. We can play the low, high, low, high, low, high. So we're playing the highest frequencies on all the upbeats. Or use the big low. 